Hello and welcome back to another RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to bulk import your images. This will make it a lot easier for your tile sets, especially your standard tile sets, and also like your actors and stuff like this. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so one thing you might have noticed when you're in the editor is that like, say when you're registering tile data for like standard tiles and you click on the low tile, you can't select more than one of these. So you have to import, you know, click open and it will import that tile. And then you'll have to keep doing that over and over and over to just import one tile at a time. Well, that can be a little bit frustrating. And so there is a way to bulk import these. So let's get started on that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my converter here, go to tile slice. I'm gonna slice just an A5, for example, here, since that'll be give us a lot of tiles here. I'm going to export that right into here. And so now with this folder, we can see that I exported all that A5. Okay, so we wanna get all of these inside Unite. So you can simply just go over here and then it's gonna lead you back to your Unity Hub. So then click here and go to Show in Explorer. We're gonna have where your project is. Then go to Assets, RPG Maker, and then uh, Storage. Now from here, you're either gonna to go to Images if you're importing characters and stuff, or you're going to go to Map if you're doing map-based stuff. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Tile Images. So here you can see this is where all the images are for the tile sets. And you can see that it has a PNG and then a PNG.meta. The meta is just the Unity side of thing. It's how it stores the asset for whatever it does. But all you have to worry about is importing the PNGs. Now we can simply go to the converter here. I'm going to just select just a few of them right here and then just drag them into that right there. And so now they'll just go down there. Now there is one more step for tiles here. We're going to click on this. And then you'll see that if we go down here, they're not going to be here initially. So if we go look for, they should be under standard tiles. So be under S here. All right. So we can see that it has a couple of them, but I imported a lot more than that. So we know that it needs a refresh. So what we're going to do is go to low tile images, and then we're just simply going to click cancel. And what that's going to do is it's going to refresh the uh, image right here. And you can see that all of the standard tiles are now loaded up. And so, that is how you would import tiles. Now let's go to import some side view characters or side view battlers. So obviously the side view battlers are gonna be right here for side view battlers and under actor. And so we can see that you can just import them one at a time here if I had them out here. But again, it would just be one at a time and it always comes with a little bit of delay and stuff like this. So what we're gonna do, we're going to clear this out. So I'm just gonna delete all those, go back here and get another slice ready. And I'm just doing this for convenience. You can do this on your own, but this converter is really helpful. I'm gonna go side view battlers, pick a side view battlers, just curled there. And now go to here. So I have all my side view battlers, and then I'm going to click back on storage here, and this time go to images and go to side view actors. So again, here's all the stuff. There's a meta version of each one. I'm just going to go in here and click on, now let's just do a couple right here, but I'll, I'll only uh, go one real quick. Then we have the cast delay. So let's go to the cast delay right here. All right, so on this hero, I'm going to go to cast delay, and I'm going to go down here, and we have cast delay, herald cast delay. So you can see that you don't have to refresh the resource when you're doing actors and stuff, which is nice. Just that tile thing, you have to refresh those a little bit. We'll click OK, and we will put, well, let's get this over here. So cast delay, and then we'll just add four frames and then put it at 20, just like everything else. And you can see that really it's only his mouth moving right there. But yeah, so that is real quickly how you can bulk import images into your projects. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments below, Forms Discord, we'll get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.